I wish you all a happy Indian Day. May our country Bharat continue her journey on the path of progress and development, taking fast and effective steps. Why I say fast steps? Because even after completing 75 years of independence, our country lags behind many more countries. To give an example, which I experienced myself, when I visited Japan in 1956 on board warships INS Delhi, we visited port known as Okinawa. As we touched the jetty, the port, what we see, we see a large number of Japanese men, women and children present on the jetty. Not to unite us, not to welcome us, but they were there begging for the food. They are starving and suffering because Japan is the one country completely destroyed by bombing in the first week of August 1945 by, by America. The suffering was so much, never in the history anybody will witness and witness. Seeing their flight, we, we had on the ship 1,100 soldiers. We donated our two days ration and one day's salary. They were so happy, all of them board on the jetty and thanked us. Now, I visit the same port after 10 years in 1966, on board another ship, a smaller vessel known Kutar, with 3,000 soldiers. And again, on that same jetty, presents a number of children, small, big men and women. What we see on the jetty, banners, welcome in the Navy. We remember what we have done 10 years ago. Today, come and enjoy your hospitality. A number of stalls were opened on the jetty, exhibiting cakes, pastries, fruits, what not. And they maintain this, uh, this one, in, uh, stalls on the jetty continuously for about three days we are there. And at the end of third day, when you sail from there, they all packed and give it to us. Today, Japan is one of the richest and costliest nation. In our household, we have Japanese electronic items, including cars. Same story with other nations.
of the Platinum Jubilee of our Independence Day. Let's celebrate. It's the 75th year. It's a milestone. And we need to celebrate. Let's celebrate. And to celebrate, we have a right person to unfold the national flag. A veteran himself, it is written on his cap. Veteran naval officer who has not only witnessed a few wars but fought four or five wars. Father uh, Rolvin enumerated those wars. And that's why I said we have a right person to inspire us, to motivate us. Commodore Castellino, thank you very much for your presence this morning and for your wonderful message. You spoke from your experience. And uh, he is an inspiration, I said. Look at his enthusiasm, his energy, his discipline. He is here before 8.15, and that is his discipline. I have seen, I have gone to his house only once day, a couple of days ago. And you must see in his house, there is a war museum, you can say. There are so many medals, mementos, arranged so nicely, and you must appreciate his patriotism, get his permission, and if you get time, visit his house and look at, see that beautiful, inspiring, patriotic museum that is Commodore Castellino. Please give him a round of applause, friends.